This is lecture 15, example 2. Uh, these will be two short examples compared to that last Canarly example. And these are very straightforward, very informative too. So the, the issue is, is that uh, we want to know how many unique input bits the RISC-V can handle and also how many unique output bits. Now the issue here is Actually, we can switch to the diagrams here. So this is the diagrams. So the, the, the notion is, is these devices are designed to do I.O. Meaning they're designed to interface with outside world. So generally input data, crunch it around, output it, generally speaking. So the, the issue is, uh, this is the input right here. And the, the notion is how many unique inputs can I hang out on this thing and still have the... Uh, Risk five manage them, and also the output. Here's the, this is the output data right there. How many unique bits can I do now? If you look at this thing, I think there's about a hundred input bits on this. Every everything except we'll say the reset and the clock have to do with I/O. So um, even with a hundred bits of I/O, essentially that wouldn't really be enough in the big scheme of things anyway. So it's designed to be super super generic. And uh, the issue is, is, is how you work with the, the microcontroller itself. So this is the, this is what you do. So you only get 32 bits here at a time. That's the key. You only get 32 at a time. But the issue is, it has the ability to select between a whole bunch of different devices on the input and essentially a whole bunch of different devices on the output. So our question is, uh, we get uh, 32 bit chunks of data, but the question is, how many chunks of data do we get? And so looking at the input, uh, there's a MUX here. The MUX is controlled by the I.O. bus address. And so the, the notion here is for the I.O. bus is, we'll, we'll say uh, the bottom part of it anyway, is is dedicated to memory access. So that, that range is 0x0000000000 to 0x0000 f f f f almost ran out of room there so this these addresses remember this is memory map because it's memory map if the memory sees one of these effective addresses it's going to do a memory access otherwise it's going to do an io so we're talking about input and so what we're interested in interested in here is the I'll just call it the I.O. range. I'll give myself some more space here. So I.O. range is, is essentially the address space that's not in that in that range here. And so this is going to be 0x0001, 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0x, And so the notion is uh, we, know we, get, we know we get 32 bits at a time. That's, that's essentially 2 to the 5th, and we get essentially this many, the number of unique uh, values in that range. That's the number of, of unique chunks of 32 we get. And so the issue is, in this range here, there are going to be 2 to the 16th unique values. And so our answer is essentially it's 2 to the 5th times 2 to the 16th, which, e which equals 2 to the 21st. So that's, um, needless to say, that's quite something that would interface with that many bits. And that seriously, that's like in the, in the million range. So that's quite a, quite a few bits of input there. Okay, so the, the notion of the output is actually going to be the same thing. We get 32, we, we can output 32 chunks of, of things, 32 bit chunks of things at one time. And it's a question of how many unique uh, addresses are associated with those 30, 32 chunks and so essentially these, these are the address bits here they're going to control this decoder just like they controlled this mux on the input uh, so they're controlling a decoder here decoder is going to look at the address and then what, whatever write one of these registers so how many unique values are there well there's this there's the same number of unique, unique values as there were on the input. And so that's essentially going to be uh, to the fifth, which is uh, which is this value right here. It's the width of the output times the number of unique values, which is 
given by this range right here. And once again, that's 2 to 16. So our final answer is 2 to the 21st once again. And so they're very much the same, same number. And I'm going to call that um, done for this problem.